Good day, folks. We're in Colossians chapter 3, verse 21. It says, Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Um, that's a verse to meditate on for us as parents. But it's, although it says fathers, I, I would like to include mothers as well because we both have so much to do when it comes to the bringing up of our children, the education of our children and home. Although mothers have a big role, I think fathers have a significant role to play as well. Do not embitter. There's another verse that says, another version that says, do not exasperate your children. In other words, do not push them to the limits and expect unreasonable things from them. Uh, parenting is a skill, and yet it seems like we're not willing to learn those skills. We don't read up. We just have this attitude that we'll just wing it and see uh, how it's all going to work out. But it's very important that we, as parents, learn how to parent properly so that we don't exasperate, so we don't embitter our children, and we discourage them. And and the word discourage as well, you, you know, you, you can probably translate it so we don't create rebels. And it's true. I think sometimes as parents, because we push our children um, to, to really obey maybe unreasonable things, is that we push them away from us and into rebellion, especially in their teenage years. And I, I don't believe that they should not have boundaries. I think they should have boundaries. But, you know, there's three things, three phases that I went through as a parent, as a father. One, when my children were, were young, I was an authoritarian father. I would lay down the law. They would obey me. They would be disciplined if they disobey me, obviously within reason. But they, they, they weren't allowed to just do their own thing and, and break down other people's houses when we visit. They got hidings for those kind of things. They were disciplined for those. So I was an authoritarian father. Then they got into their teenage years, and I became more of a negotiating father. And between the ages of 13 and 19, I negotiated more and more, I let go more and more, and I allowed them to experience some things. And some of the things that I allowed them, uh, they knew that I wasn't happy with, but I still allowed them to make those decisions. Uh, so then I, beca so I became a negotiating father. And now, as my kids are adults and have got their own children, I am really just an advisory father. I don't mix in, I don't say anything unless I am approached. And I'm very careful when I give advice that I'm asked first to give advice. But you know, this negotiating stage is where we can really, really discourage our children. If we press and push and nag and, and, and demand maybe unreasonable things, there's reasonable things, biblical things to demand. But it's how we do it as well that is so important. So I want to encourage you, fathers. Learn how to parent well. Go through the phases with your children. Grow up with them in a sense. Uh, encourage them. Don't encourage them to sin, but encourage them in their obedience. And don't exasperate them. Don't embitter them. And don't turn them into discouraged teenagers or into rebellion. Help may fa the Father God help you to be the dad and mom that he wants you to be for your children's sake and for the gospel's sake. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.